Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Man, I'm sure glad that you're here. If you've ever done drywall work, then you know that when you drive your fastener into drywall, it's super important that you drive it to the right depth, just under the surface of the drywall. The reason why is because you need to skim coat over top of that screw so that whenever you paint it, you're not gonna see any divots and you're not gonna really tell where the seams are, where the fasteners are. And if you've ever done it with a drill or with an impact driver, then you also know that it's super easy to blow through the drywall if you uh, push the fastener too deep into the drywall. Well, Ruby's came out with a really cool tool. It's not new, but I think it deserves a lot of attention because it is a super useful tool. And this is the drywall drill gun. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So stick around. So this is the P225. It features a brushless motor. It has a belt clip at the top and it also has a belt clip uh, on the side and it can be reversed to each side. It does feature a magnetic clip, I'm sorry, a magnetic base on the bottom so you can put your screws there. It'll hold them tight and that's good if you're gonna drive multiple screws at a time, which you are because that's what this is meant to do. It also has what's called quiet drive, and we'll go over that here in just a minute more in depth because it's a really cool feature because it pairs it with another feature within the drill itself. And while we're talking about features, this is really nice. This is called the cone tip, and this is kind of where the magic takes place within this tool. We can pull it off, and below it you actually see uh, the collet here, and if we pull it like this, we can take the bit out. And this is just a quarter inch and it uh, locks in there just like an impact would. But there's a reason why this is here. And if you notice, you can push this in much greater than other impacts. And that's because it's not only just a collet where it locks things in place, this is actually a clutch. So when it's out, normal, just like this, it's not going to drive. So I can pull the trigger. Let's put a line on this. Hopefully, hopefully this shows up on the video. Okay, so if I pull the trigger, it's not moving. See that? I push it in and it starts to spin. And that is a key feature of this gun itself because when you're using it, you're gonna be putting in multiple fasteners at a time and this is gonna help the efficiency of the job that you do. Now, getting onto the cone. The cone itself is meant to control the depth of the screw as it enters the drywall. So it moves out and it moves in, but it does have, that's the critical portion because and how drywall guns work is that when you push this clutch in so far, it engages, but see how far, and it's hard to see, uh, just watch this part. See how far that moves? You got a lot of play in there. So as it pushes the drill bit down inside where that clutch is, maybe you can see it a little better if I just do this. The cone hits the drywall itself and then it'll actually push the screw out as it goes in. It'll disengage the screw from the bit itself. And that's how it stops from driving this into the drywall any further. It's a pretty simple concept. I think it's pretty ingenious, but it works fantastic. Let's give it a shot real quick. And I'm going to go to the furthest out. So this will be the shallowest drive of it all. And we will start with an inch and a quarter screw. So watch closely. Okay, so we see how that, uh, I don't know, what's that, a quarter inch out of the drywall? All right, let's move it down just a little bit. I think I put just around three turns on that. 
Let's try it again. Okay, so now we're getting up there. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. So let's put it three more turns. Now look at that. Wow, that's perfect. That's just under the surface of the drywall. I don't know if that's going to show up on the video very well, but um, that is pretty perfect just for me. You don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, you'll lose the integrity of the drywall itself. Um, and then if someone bumps into the wall, it may cause some additional movement and cracks within um, the taping that you have. All right, so uh, let's talk about some of the key features here. Um, and we're going to get into uh, how strong is this as well. So I'm going to drive a two inch and a three inch screw as well. Let's see if I can drive, this is a inch and a quarter. Let's see if I can drive a two inch screw and keep it at the same depth. Uh, that's really close. I think I need to turn it just a wee bit. Try it again. Look at that, that's the same depth. So I did have to turn it a little bit, but you're looking at almost doubling the length of the screw. So the power is there. Let's see if we can drive a three inch screw to the same depth. I'll be. Okay, look at that. So that was a three inch screw and it drove it the same as the two inch and it drove it the same as the uh, inch and a quarter. And that is all due to the cone working in concert with the clutch uh, beneath. And now you can see if I were to do this with an impact or something like that, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna put this on the second setting, it gives me the most control. Let's try to get it to the same depth. Oh, whoa. See, look, just by that right there, I accidentally over drove it and, and it's, um, oh my gosh, that's actually past the paper and it's down halfway into the drywall. So I'm gonna lower this to the first setting, which is the weakest setting of this impact. Right, ah, right there, but I had to be super, super gentle with it. But you can see just with those two, it makes it really hard if you're gonna drive 100, 200 uh, screws, you really don't wanna use this. You wanna use a drill driver, uh, but more importantly, a specialized uh, driver. So that brings me to the, I think the coolest feature of this drill. You have what's called quiet drive and that's right here so we click that on the light comes on and look what happens when i pull the trigger nothing nothing until you put pressure right so i hold the drill then i get it on a screw look at that hold the trigger now they market this as being something that you're going to save power with uh, and by that energy within the battery, things like that. But you know what? I'm, I'm not really buying that as much. There's one more feature, and that is called uh, the trigger lock. So it's right down here. So if you pull the trigger, you push this up. Now the trigger is locked in. You're on quiet drive. Whenever you're driving um, drywall screws into drywall, especially if you're holding it up, a lot of times getting down here, you know, maneuvering your hand so that you can pull the trigger can be difficult. But check this out. This is actually formed to a hand, so you can just hold it and it's a lot more ergonomic and it makes sense whenever you're driving uh, a drywall. So with a quiet drive and we know the feature and how it works and the trigger lock, check this out. No, no driving, or I'm sorry, no, uh, you can just, uh, let me get a few screws out here. And I'm going to use the magnetic base because we want to use all the features. All right, so here we go. There's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Look at that. I didn't have to pull the trigger one time. The tool did all of the work itself. So there is one question. Will this drive deck screws? I'm not sure if it's powerful enough, but I did see it drive a three inch drywall screw. So the only way we're going to learn is if we try. So I'm going to drive one more three inch drywall screw here. Get enough pressure, keep it level. And it drives it perfect. That's great. So let's try, and, and I'm a little apprehensive about this because if you know me and you follow my channel, four inch screws are not my favorite, but why not? Let's give it a shot and we're gonna drive it through. I have a two by four sitting on top of a two by six down here, which is what the table's made out of. And we have half inch drywall sitting on top so bear with me. I hope this goes well. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Wow, that was fantastic. Let's try one more. Okay, there we go. So let's take a closer look. And these are all of the screws. It's kind of hard for me to tell the difference. I used exterior screws for the four inch, but we can see that's here and that's here. Uh, they worked out perfect. I know that this is a two inch, I'm sorry, a three inch. That's a three inch, that's a three inch. I think, I could be wrong. But uh, I drove a bunch of inch and a quarters in here. I did a couple of uh, one inchers and a couple one inch and five eighths. But you can see between the two inch, the three inch, the four inch, um, and the inch and five eighths, they're uniform. And that's pretty fantastic considering I didn't change the settings on the drill driver itself except for after the first uh, two inch. So that really proves that the tool works magnificently. It shows the efficiency of the work and how that you get your supplies. You insert the fastener quickly, efficiently, powerfully, and then you can move on, get your other jobs done. And one thing I'm not sure that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, that the RPMs are 4,700. So everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you stay up to date with all the latest and greatest videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody.